Um, right now I just want to take this chance to quickly thank our sponsors for tonight's event. Uh, Grasshopper Salon, Purology, Obsessive Compulsive Makeup, Color Craft, Saturn Cafe, Vegan Mainstream, Eco Razzi, and the San Francisco Fashion Merchants Alliance. We are going to take a look at a video from a great designer, Vought Couture. Um, so I named Vaut Couture not only for being Haute Couture but with a V for vegan, but because um, Vaut is really what I think you do when you buy something. I mean, you're not, you're very tan tangibly supporting um, with your money and with your time and your attention all the things that go on behind a company. So you're supporting um, the workers, how much they're getting paid, how they're being treated, you're supporting the fabrics. You're supporting the fabric suppliers. Are they innovating in a way that's conscientious, or are they exploiting and creating more trash and more um, more pollution for the world? So all of those things are ways that you directly are um, promoting exactly what that company does with your money. And this is the vote code. It is our farm sanctuary benefit code, and 100% of the net profits go to the farm sanctuary. It's my favorite place on earth. It's, this one is made out of a recycled shell that's designed to retain heat. Um, and then it's also got tango nut buttons, which are an uh, alternative to um, elephant ivory. And it promotes the planting of trees instead of logging them. And then it also has the windproof liner, 100% windproof for a Chicago Windy City winter. And then it's also 100% recycled closed loop zero waste, which means no waste is created when they're doing the recycling. And it keeps the same quality, so it can be recycled again and again. The reason why I got into recycled and recyclable fabrics is because um, the fabrics that are out there that are alternatives to wool in terms of high performance and high style, um, and so they're warm enough so they can actually be a wool alternative, um, they don't exist yet. Um, but I always find a sense of strength in being vegan, that it's really about choosing how you affect the world. You're not letting someone else, you're not letting a company or society or norms tell you how you're going to affect the world, who, you, who you're going to end up killing through someone else, who you're going to end up um, exploiting through someone else, but that you choose who and what you're affecting and how you're affecting them. <laughs> Thank you. 
shaven and quilted detailing and is also available for fuchsia and black. This one is called L Coat. This vintage silhouette has a long, extra warm cut, sure to match your inner grace and elegance. It's a single breasted dress coat with a wide shawl collar.
um, but they're all a bunch of youngsters. This one has been vegetarian for 53 years, vegan for 33 of those years, and actively promoting a healthy, compassionate diet and lifestyle for over 40 years. We are so happy to have here tonight the president of the San Francisco Vegetarian Under the Society. 